Welcome to this demonstration. We will see how we can update the source repositories with FAS classification information using here the example of Google Drive as a source. Why we would need that? It's the use case where I want to mark the information in the source application so that, for example, a DLP system can look at this information and protect it. What can you do in this case? FAS will automatically scan and discover sensitive data for you. It will classify it and mark the documents with a weighted label. In the case called a workspace in FAS, you can filter documents in categories called workbooks in FAS and apply actions on them. In Google Drive, the action, that is a custom program in this use case, will add a tag in the description, as we see it here, and also add a public property, but this cannot be shown in the web interface, it is only available via the APIs. How does it work? FAS will first discover sensitive data by connecting to Google Drive, our custom program will then get from FAS the list of documents to treat. The program will then connect to Google Drive and apply the properties that we have defined to the documents. Let's see now the complete workflow in action. In my Google Drive, I have few documents and one of them, my document, contains PII, contains sensitive information, like an email address. If I look at the properties of the file, I do not have any tag for now in the description property. In FAS, we have the possibility to connect to the source of information, scan and discover sensitive data, but we will skip that for this demonstration. We will concentrate on the manage section where we will be able to work on our use case. We can see the many different use cases that can be addressed by FAS to discover the data, manage the data, and protect the data. We will work for this use case with a template to tag data in place. So let's create a new case. I will call it a tag in Google Drive. Go to the next page. I will assign this workflow to myself. Get the features by default provided by the templates. That's the actions that we can do in this use case. And we are ready to go with this use case. The first thing to do with this workspace, tag in G Drive, is to add a data source. So that's the repositories of information where I have uh, the documents to treat. So I will select uh, my repositories here. I have the possibility to select all the Google Drive uh, connections. For example, I can remove uh, one if I need. I can also, and let's do it for the purpose of this demonstration, add a file share. After a couple of minutes, uh, I have uh, all my data that have been added to uh, this uh, use case. I can see the data in timeline, by file types. I can see all the tags that have been uh, applied on documents with uh, the patterns that have been found, like email addresses. They also are grouped in uh, in groups like financial data to ease the visualization. And I also have a categorization, automatic categorization, which is made and based with the workbooks that we have defined in this use case. In this example of a workspace, I have predefined workbooks like 
filtering uh, those documents that contain sensitive uh, data, or the opposite, uh, those that does not contain sensitive data, or more complex one like this one, two tag in Google Drive, that filters uh, the documents that are weighted sensitive or highly sensitive, that are coming from a Google Drive type of repository, and also that have not already been tagged. So this category is typically the one that will contain the documents that we want to uh, mark in uh, Google Drive. I have uh, the possibility to view the document, view the detail on the document, see that uh, we found some uh, email addresses. I've enriched also the documents so that we collect the values uh, behind the scene. I can also index the content and uh, mark the email addresses and view them directly in the document, the rendition of the document. It's now time to act on the data, select my workbook, go to activities. I have here the actions I can do on the data, like enrich and this custom activity. This is what I will launch and uh, apply to my workbook, we see now it's in pending mode, pending status. Let's now run this uh, external activity called uh, set fast tag in uh, drive. That's my script that will uh, connect to fast. So log in to fast here, log in to Google Drive, get the pending workbooks, set the status of uh, uh, the workbook to uh, processing. It's a bit quick here. We don't see appearing in the interface. Uh, we would get the list of documents and apply this uh, sensitive uh, tag in the description and add the property category equal sensitive. Then we set the workbook status to complete and we log out. My workbook is now in completed status. I can have a look at the result. In Google Drive, in my drive, I see that my document has now a property description with a tag, a hashtag, a sensitive. The other one, the public property, is not uh, visible from the interface. It's only uh, accessible via the API, but any uh, DLP system or other application that needs to look at this property is able to find it and access it. In this video, we have seen that FIS can help us to discover sensitive data, tag it with weighted labels of sensitivity. Then we can update the source application and mark documents properties to reflect the sensitivity. Thank you for watching.